Good morning, my little learners. I hope everyone is fine and enjoying the face-to-face -face learning in school. Today, I've come up with another exciting lesson of understanding the world. Are you excited to know what are we going to learn today? Today, we will explore different types of plants. Seems exciting, isn't it? Dear learners, before we begin our today's lesson, let's recall different parts of a plant learned in the previous lesson. So, can you name the parts of the plant? Yes, they are roots, stem, leaves, and flowers and yes of course fruits and which part of the plant do we eat excellent we eat roots of some plants for example carrot we eat stem and leaves of some plants for example coriander spinach and lettuce and we eat fruits as well my dear learners have you ever been to a garden or a park have you observed that all the plants there are they all same really they are same in some ways Yet, they look different as well. How do they look different? Yes, that is correct. They are different in sizes, shapes and colors. Some have fruits and flowers, some do not. Even the color and shape and sizes of their leaves are different. Yes, some have sweet fruits and some have sour fruits grown on them. Some are very tall, like trees, and some of them are very small, like bushes. Let's learn about the types of the plants. There are different types of plants around us. Trees, shrubs, climbers, herbs, creepers are the different types of plants. My young learners, let's learn about trees. Trees are the tall plants. As they grow, they become big tall and strong. They have a hard, thick and woody stem which is called a trunk. They have many branches. Trees have long lives and they live for many years. We get fruits and wood from them. Let's see some examples of trees around us. are coconut and palm trees. My little young learners, let's learn about shrubs. Shrubs are small woody plants with many branches. Their stems are short, hard, but thin, so they can be broken easily. And do you know which can be examples of shrubs? Let's have a look at the rose and cotton plants. They are the examples of shrubs. Let's learn about another type of plants, which are called herbs. Herbs are small plants with soft and weak stems. They are much smaller than shrubs and trees. 
Do you know any examples of her? Superb! Mint and coriander are the examples of herbs. My dear learners, let's learn about another kind of plant. And they are climbers. Climbers have soft, weak stem. They can't stand erect and need a spore to grow and spread around. That is why they are called climbers. Money plant, pea plant and grape one are the examples of climbers. And you must have seen them around. My smart learners, do you know what creepers are? Plants that creep over the ground are called creepers. Some examples of creepy plants are pumpkin and juicy sweet watermelon plant. I hope you have learned a lot about plants. Now it's time for the quiz. So my first question is how many types of plants are there? Come on, you can guess it. Well done! There are five types of plants. Now, who is going to tell me the names of different types of plants? Amazing! They are trees, herbs, shrubs, Climbers and creepers. My little amazing learners, are you ready for the next one? So tell me, from what type of plant do we get mint leaves? Marvelous! Mint plant is a herb. My learners, you all like to eat apples. So have you ever noticed from what type of plant do we get apples? Awesome! We get apples from apple trees. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. My dear learners, it's not only super fun to plant your own seeds and watch them grow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.